morning it is october 5th 2023 i want to welcome you in this video the market update with a lot of news a lot of things that you should know and uh, maybe we'll get some ideas we'll see there's a lot of things to look at dark pool insider trading um company news bad news good news and all that stuff you're looking at the u.s uh futures also the german futures french british everything that we can see here but if we look at the u.s stock futures down as expected and don't expect much from the u.s stock market let's say but also in europe but we're going to focus on the u.s stock market i wouldn't expect much because look we have the you know the uh, mccarthy being uh, out of uh, uh, as a house speaker um, we have the government shutdown looming again in november because the politicians their mind was um their the, the highest level they could their brain could work was just to find a solution for one month and then make things even worse so uh, we also have the Fed rate hike in the world. We have a lot of things. We have this whole talk about a recession. We have the problem with the bonds. I don't want to scare anyone because, hey, guys, if you read a lot and you start learning more and more and more, you're also going to learn how there are ways to prepare for things. So if one thing goes wrong, hey, we got, you know, a solution and we can move forward. One of the ways to prepare is always have cash on the side. How about gold? Have you looked at gold? Gold prices are falling, gold stocks are falling, and people are scared. But I would not fear that, to be honest. That's actually an opportunity. Gold's gonna rebound, in my opinion. Gold stocks are gonna rebound, in my opinion. Join Bull Market Watch on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash bull market watch. Patreon.com slash bull market watch. And there are three different tiers you can choose. The most popular one is the it says here 10 euros it's actually 990 in us dollars you get access to dark pool hold safety approvals unusual option activities golden sweeps insider trading my trades personally what i trade and buy and sell ahead of time before i even do it and a lot more things that community with over a thousand traders a lot and it's better in this times that we are now to be trading amongst a community to have a to be part of a good community and I think it helps people to um, go forward in a much more positive way. EVI Industries, Q4 EPS, 13 cents, up from 11 cents year over year. Sales at $94 million, also up from $82 million year over year. So it's not so bad. Look at EVI Industries. They're doing really well. The past one year, this stock is already up 48% in their latest earnings. They're doing awesome. So maybe we can check that out. EVI Industries also declared a special cash dividend of 28 cents per share, guys, to be paid on October 26, 2023. Toyota Inc.'s battery supply deal with LG Energy for U.S. EV production. LG is on the U.S. stock market, on the New York Stock Exchange, if I'm correct. Um, but yeah, so that's a pretty cool deal here. So Toyota Motor Corp. has secured a battery supply for its forthcoming fleet of electric vehicles. The auto giant has entered into a long-term agreement with LG Energy Solutions. Constellation Brands likely to report higher Q2 earnings. Take a symbol for Constellation Brands is STZ. Analysts expect the company to post quarterly earnings of $3.36 per share, up from a year ago earnings of $3.17 per share. An early investor in Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway is now worth $3 billion and has already joined the Forbes 400 this year. Apple CEO Tim Cook and executives sold over $100 million in stock. This was reported on October 4th, 2023. We already knew about it in my Discord from October 3. But that's interesting because if you look at the past one month, maybe that explains why the stock has gone from $190 to $173 as of right now. Volvo Cars September sales rise 25%. Demand is up in China. Long Bond's historic 46% meltdown rivals burst of dot-com bubble. Guys, that's pretty scary. And we can see here the chart. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Let's hope none of that occurs. Shiba Inu burn rate skyrockets of 75% while SHIB remains trapped in its price range. Evotech enters a bridge partnership with Lightstone, Clevis Bio, Lips by Bayer, and Polaris aims to boost drug discovery in Asia. Evotech SC is trading right now at $17.44 and year to date it's up 14.17%. Molson Coors to launch non-alcoholic Blue Moon for dry January as part of Beyond Beer Makeover. VinFast stock on a roller coaster, 22% average swings with no clear uh, triggers. Some people are wondering what happened, why did it go from 90 
down to eight dollars a share now that it's trading well guys it went through a SPAC and first of all the company was a huge loss making company I had done a video about it before it even went public through the SPAC and I had said in my video guys they're, they're losing insane amount of money and they're definitely not worth more than in my opinion five or six bucks that's just my opinion and then after it went through a SPAC, it skyrocketed all the way up to 80-90, which was insane. It wasn't even worth that money. Obviously, the easiest thing to short. And it went down to $8.15 now. And I think that you're going to see more of a decline in this stock. Latest to showcase next generation enterprise software platform at Inter Airport Europe. LDOS is the ticker symbol. Rivian sinks after EV Maker plans convertible note offering. The economy is definitely weakening. Bill Ackman warns of a big threat for certain Americans. Here are his top three holdings. So Bill Ackman thinks the economy is going to get worse and worse. He's betting on three stocks for a bad economy. What are the three stocks? Guys, he's betting on you guys eating a lot of food and being bored and just walking around Lowe's on an afternoon or a night or in an evening because you have nothing else to do. That's what he's betting on. <laughs> Guys, Chipotle Mexican Grill Incorporation, CMG, he's betting on Restaurant Brands International, QSR, and he's betting on Lowe's Companies, LOW. Argo Blockchain's mining revenue in September has amounted to $3.5 million, which is an increase of 23% versus August. Bank of America noted that investors continue to inject cash into U.S. Treasuries as yields surge. Qualcomm deal to acquire Autotox needs EU approval, regulars say. Impel Pharma reiterates a possible Chapter 11 bankruptcy. It's down 23%, but I wouldn't be surprised if it skyrockets. Because for some reason, whenever a company uh, goes bankrupt, people like to put money into it. This is the biggest healthcare REIT in the United States of America, and it's in trouble. Corporate greed? Possibly. Medical property trust stock sinks after report that prospect deal is on hold. MPW is the ticket symbol. The lower and lower and lower it goes, there's two options, two possibilities that at the lowest we can get it, we have a risk of it going bankrupt and thus you lose your money. Or at the lowest possible you can buy it, you have the chance of it rebounding through some type of a deal and then you make money. We'll see. This needs to be watched and studied a little bit, I think, because it's a very interesting uh, stock ticker. Germany's trade surplus fell less than expected in August. Japan's Fukushima nuclear plant starts second release of treated radioactive wastewater into the sea. Where is this water, radioactive water? Though they say it's treated and it's not radioactive anymore, but who knows? There's a lot of things that people say and companies say and politicians say and so on that in the end aren't true, but we'll see. Social Security Administration to review overpayments may claw back payments. Biden's dog commander is removed from the White House after biting incidents. BlackBerry stock, this is interesting because this news came out yesterday, guys. BlackBerry stock rises on announcement of planned IPO of its IoT business. And yesterday in the after hours, BlackBerry stock ticket symbol BB went up. But you're going to say, who cares? BlackBerry is a, you know, a, a money losing company. Why would I even care about their IoT business going in, you know, going public as an IPO? Look, the IoT business of BlackBerry was actually the only thing that was making money. So it's going to be actually a very interesting initial public offering and one that for me, if the price is right, will draw attention for me, personally speaking, right? So I'm, I'm excited about this one. Gold and mining stocks are tumbling because bond yields and other drivers are all headed in the wrong direction. But that's okay. Let the gold stocks fall more. The more they fall, the more attractive they become to me. Exxon expects profit bump from oil prices of around $1 billion in third quarter. And with that being said, that's a quick look at the market and uh, the market update for today. Guys, I don't expect the market to do well today. It's going to be pretty much something of the same as yesterday, in my opinion. So be careful and uh, don't rush. Don't rush yet into anything, really. Don't rush. If you find stock that you think is very attractive for the long term right now, you know, it's up to you, but you might end up having to dollar cost average within a month. Have a good day, everyone.